sky or winter chill If I gotta take a break I will But I'm gonna run right up this hill Hey guys, it's Kaki. Lots of folks have asked for another what I eat in a day video, so here it goes. As always, first thing, lots of coffee. So my day pretty much starts the same every day. Lots of coffee. As I said earlier in my first what I eat in a day video, I started off uh, right after surgery with decaf. I drink my coffee black, like it black and really hot. Then after about a month, I swapped back to regular caffeinated coffee. Haven't had any problems with it. It hasn't irritated my stomach. My concern was that it would increase my appetite because some people say that happened. Really hasn't happened with me, so. First thing in the morning, I sit and I drink a couple of cups of coffee, get started on my water. That's my first water for the day. So I'll keep you updated. More coffee. <laughs> my plan wants you to eat within an hour of getting up. I'm not hungry first thing in the morning. So a protein shake really, you know, kind of gets things jump started for me. I don't particularly like the artificial protein, sweeteners, that kind of thing. But, you know, I find that if I don't do a protein shake in the morning, my whole schedule gets thrown off. Um, when I'm at work, you know, like most folks, I do have a set lunch break. So if I don't get things going, I'm starving before that first break. Well, I'm not really starving, but kind of hungry. And, I feel like that therefore it throws everything off the rest of the day with my timing with meals. So protein shake, easy thing in the morning. Like I said, I really like the Fairlife. I also like uh, the Premier Protein, but only in the chocolate peanut butter and the cafe latte. I don't care for the other flavors. Taking my medicine this morning, I have a B complex. I have an omeprazole which my team recommends that you take for about six months after surgery. And then I've got an allergy peel, just a few various things. I've also got my calcium chews packed for the day. About to head out. Caroline, it's time to get up and head to work. Are you ready to go to work? Are you ready to go to work? Uh, it looks like not. So, I'm headed out to work. I've got all my snacks and meals packed for the day. I find that if I don't do that, it, my day does not go very well. So, I try to plan ahead. I probably won't eat all of this, but that way I've got choices. Caroline, are you ready to go to work? Are you ready to go to work? We got stuff to do. I know it's a holiday, but we chose a profession. We gotta work anyway. You ready to go? So it's about 10, what time? 10.35. I've taken my first calcium chew of the day. I did finish my shake about 20 minutes ago. Takes me a little while to drink one of those. I wanna make sure it stays down and goes smooth. Hey guys, it is 12.07, so it's lunchtime. This is what I'm having, which I will put in a picture. I'm having, uh, it's 2.3 ounces of salmon and about a quarter cup of the Kevin's uh, cauliflower mac and cheese. Haven't had that before, but it looks awesome. It smells really good. Then I also have, uh, I made some homemade tartar sauce with the light mayo and the no sugar added uh, pickle relish. Put a little lemon juice in it and it everything smells great. So I'll insert a before what I what I started with and an after. I'm pretty hungry, so I may be able to get taken, get it all taken care of today. 
So this is what I had left over after lunch. I ate all of the salmon, it was really good. And just have a few bites left of the cauliflower mac and cheese. So hopefully that'll keep me full for a little while. So it's about 20 till three in the afternoon. I've gotten behind on my water. It's hard for me to do at work, it seems like. I can't ever keep up with it. But I have my water refilled and I'm using the Tropical uh, Pineapple Mango Drops in it. Also, about to do my next calcium. Like I said earlier, my dietitian told me that as long as I get in one protein shake a day, just have to do calcium twice. So that makes things a lot easier. It's, you know, the more you have to do something, the less likely you are to get it all in. <laughs> So this is what I was able to eat. I got all the shrimp and most of the cocktail sauce, but just wasn't in an eggy mood and I was already full by the time I started that. So it is about 20 till seven, still finishing up at work. I've got my nightly popsicle. These are the sugar-free junior pops and a cup of coffee. Hey guys, finally home. It is 7.34 p.m. For supper, I'm having some homemade beef stew. This is about, with liquid and all, about a cup. Probably the solids are about half a cup. I made this on Saturday. I got a small beef roast cooked it in the pressure cooker with a big can of tomatoes and an onion, and then about a quarter cup of G. Hughes sugar-free steak sauce, and then a little bit of water. After the roast was done, I added a can of corn, can of peas and carrots, and a can of green beans. Cooked it about another five minutes in the pressure cooker. Gosh, it made like 12 one cup portions for me, so I portioned the rest out what I didn't need immediately. This is the last one I've got and froze, froze everything. So I have ready-made meals when I'm ready. I really like to do that. You know, when I first started eating soup, I asked the dietitian, you know, you're not supposed to drink with your meals. So what about soup? And she told me just to kind of, with your spoon, take the, the fluid, the, the liquid, off and drink it, then eat the solids. So that made sense to me. But anyway, I'll let I'll put in a picture of before and after. So that was so good. I ate every bit of it. Um, also, I, I forgot to mention one other thing. I put in the soup with some mushrooms. But you know, it really when you I find that cooking meat in the pressure cooker works the best for me to tolerate it. Preserves a lot of the moisture in the meat. Doesn't tend to get stuck like some of, you know, things that are broiled or cooked other ways do. So anyway, that was good. I finished it off. It is now about eight o'clock and looking at my calories and what I've had today, uh, and knowing how I usually am before bedtime, I'm gonna fix myself a little bit of a snack before bedtime. I'll keep you posted. So, it is about 10.15 and this is my bedtime snack. I have cucumbers, some uh, little baby carrots that I cut in half, some sliced bell pepper, I've got yellow, red, and orange. Got a pickle, I love pickles celery, and then this is a dip that I made with non-fat Greek yogurt and the ranch dressing powder. Tastes great, much better than regular ranch dip, plus it's got a whole lot more protein. That's about a quarter cup of that, as you can see, this is a small plate. I will likely finish this off. I love vegetables, so this is like my real treat of the day is to <laughs> eat a little plate of raw vegetables. So I will update you in a little bit. Also filled up my water bottle, having my last water bottle of the night. Drank some before I ate. Of course, I can't drink for about 30 minutes after, so 
I'll let you know if my water intake goes. We'll wrap it up with my final uh, calories and macros. Hey guys, we're back where we started from. So I think today was a really good day. I had a lot of good quality protein and, and salmon and shrimp and I, my beef stew. I feel like I got some vegetables that my body really needed. So at the end of the day, I like to go back and look at my calories and macronutrients. It's not that I count calories, but I just like to keep an eye on those. So today I had talking about the um, macronutrients, I had 19.3 grams of fat, 20.3 grams of carbs, and 85.1 grams of protein. So let's see if that will tell us how that breaks down to in calories. It may not. Technology is wonderful. Okay, so that puts me, is that right? Well, I'm looking at yesterday. Okay, so that puts me at 616 calories today. A little bit less than I like to get. Um, you know, my dietitian recommends six to 800. I, I tend to like to be on a little bit higher, closer to that 800, but I feel like I did pretty good overall. But you know, this is just an example of how I eat in a day. It changes day by day. I would love for for any feedback on maybe what you eat, some suggestions you might have, some go-to meals that you find yourself eating very often. I'd love to hear from you. Everyone have a great week. I will be putting out my weekly video soon. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Bye-bye.